As usual, I'm at the park. It's busy today. All kinds of great footage today I have to offer you. I did my crudite, crudita, crudite. I uh, got my vegetables and I'll show you that. And got a little mariachi, a couple mariachi guys. They have their little band and they played for me. They were playing while I was doing my relish plate and I could hear them. They were just two cars down. I could hear them. It was really great. But they said that they would also play for me. So I'm going to give you that too. And then I put up my slack line. It's just a, it's just a fun day today. And I think it's actually a fun life. I have fun at the parks. Well, you know, I did in Reno. Oh my gosh. There was all kinds of people there. This might be the best place to be in the winter or today. Anyways, it's gorgeous. It's about 65 degrees. Perfect. I mean, I could still wear long sleeves, but I'm not too hot. It's cold this morning, of course. I don't know where you're at. If it's really cold, you know, it'll warm up soon. But here in Tucson, it's beautiful weather. This is why people come to Tucson in Arizona for the weather. And Tucson is a very friendly place and you'll see.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. I have, there's a couple guys sitting out here. One's playing the accordion and the other one is playing the guitar. Soy Juanito. Y soy Alberto. Y somos los hermanos Chandler. <laughs> I mean, listen to this. These are people celebrating life and I love being a part of it. I felt the same when I was in Reno. I did enjoy being in Salt Lake City. Uh, when I was in Cincinnati, OMG, it was great. Just recently, I watched a couple videos from Nomads and they were complaining about having to go into town, having to go into the city so that they could upload their videos. And they didn't want to leave the nature. They didn't want to leave the wilderness. They wanted to be out there all the time. Wow, that's not me. Uh, when I was in Quartzsite, I mean, just going into town, I was like, oh yeah, there's people here and I love it. And I would see people at the laundromat or at the, at the restaurants and or at Petro and we would wave at each other. It was great and uh, you would never hear me complain about having to go into a city or having to go into town. What's great is that I am in town and I have Wi-Fi. I have cell service. Really great cell service. Now I do enjoy my quiet time. I'm kind of anxious to go out back on BLM land, but I guarantee probably not going to stay there for too long because I want to get back to being around people. I love it. I'm not, I'm not a recluse. I'm just not, I'm more social. Now, do I have great friends here? Yes, in Tucson I do, and I have family here. But when I'm in another city, what I do is I make friends. I made so many friends in Reno that I still keep in contact with. And I can't wait to see them again. I can't wait to go back to Reno. So you won't hear me complain about city life. I'm on 4th Avenue in Tucson. And this was, I don't know if it still is, but this was the art uh, center of Tucson. It's 4th Avenue. But with COVID, I'm not really sure um, how things are faring here in um, on 4th Avenue. So let's turn around here. Yeah, a lot of murals. 
I'm going to go into the food conspiracy. It's a cooperative and I came here often because they have a lot of um, bin foods. Almost every herb and spice, oodles of teas, bulk foods. I did call them. I wasn't sure if they were still going to offer that with COVID. COVID! Uh, they said, yes, they've changed a little thing, so I'm kind of anxious to see what's in here. Well, we'll go in, and there are a lot of really nice cafes along uh, 4th Avenue also. So I might stop into there too. Now, the best thing about the 4th Avenue was twice a year, they had the 4th Avenue um, Street Fair. This place was packed, and I'm sure they don't have it anymore because of the COVID. Um, your people would be too close together, but all oh, the best food, I would come here for the food. Uh, the best food and all the artists would bring all their wares here. I mean, good stuff, not just, you know, junk, like all oh, their artists and they're creating junk. No, this was good stuff. Um, art, the artists from all over the Tucson area. And uh, this was a pretty bopping place. I just don't know anymore. So I'm gonna go into the co-op and maybe I'll talk to one of the uh, clerks there and uh, get the skinny on how it's been faring this year. So it looks like what they've done is put all the herbs and the teas in shakers instead of glass jars.
Yesterday I didn't, but pretty much in the afternoon, yeah. Oh, I might take you up on trying it out. Well, why not? Yeah. Not right now in front of me. I, 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 I peeps. But yeah, wear some shorts. Yeah, yeah, wear shorts and appropriate I usually shoes. wait until it like about now. It's Are really nice. Are kind of shoes you always wear? Um, I wear different kind of shoes. I, I go barefoot. I use barefoot. I just wanted to show you guys oh, okay. that you can. You don't have to take your shoes yeah. off.
a fun day at the park. I hope you enjoyed the footage. There's just so many things going on this weekend. Christmas week, the, the weekend after Christmas, people are out, um, enjoying their toys that they bought. I saw on the, on the pond, I saw some, you know, a motorized boats going around, you know, with the remotes and everybody's got their bikes and their scooters. And just music, uh, music galore is, is so fun. So do I like the city life? Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, it was really nice going back to the co-op. We call it, we just call it the co-op. It's called the food conspiracy, but it was fun going back there. Not as many things. They used to have a lot of, uh, more bins, especially like dried fruits. Really, uh, really good. The one thing about the co-op and you, you saw all the herbs, spices, teas. I mean, really good herbs, herbs that it's hard to find, except maybe going on a mountain rose online. But one thing is you can get just the right amount. You don't have to get like, if you go to the grocery store, you get a pack or a, a jar of herbs. Um, a lot of herbs you don't really use that much of, and then they go bad. So I could only get just the right amount. I did get some tea. I got some chai tea, and we're going to have tea next time instead of coffee. So mm, it smells so good. Yeah, chai tea. And you just bag them up, and then they have those little numbers on them, little codes on them. And you just write the numbers. So when the clerk checks it out, she just puts in the code. And that's the price. Well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you're watching this in the morning, look for good things to happen today. Good things will happen when we expect. Expect the unexpected. Don't just expect, expect the usual. Well, I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching it all the way through. Love you.